Uh, really good. It's, it gives you like a buzz inside when you get on stage. I'm nervous to start with in the wings because it's like nerve wracking and you can hear everybody starting on it. But when you get up, it's just wicked. It's well good. It's the best thing you've ever done. Is it, is it always been something that each of you have wanted to do, is be on the stage or be involved in, in entertainment? I've always wanted to do this and stuff. How, how did it feel when you when you first realised that you you know when you were told that you you were one of the people that had been chosen? I cried, <laughs> and so did my dad. I never seen my dad cry before. And it was like a real shock. I was like, oh my god, I got my part. I was, I couldn't stop jumping up and down. I was so happy. What about you, George? How did how did it feel? Um, when I got the part, I was just like gobsmacked. I was just amazed, and like my mum just got my mum just burst out crying. I mean, I was all right. But then after a while, when it started to sink in, I started going, Ooh, like, I couldn't believe it. But then, but it took quite a long time for me to realise mm. what's happened. And, but I definitely want to carry on doing stuff like this and yeah. go into more jobs of acting and stuff. So this is the world I want to be going now. <laughs> Liam, what about you? You're the youngest. How, how, how did it feel when you were told? Um, when I got the part, I was like, I was, I was surprised really. It didn't really, it, like, when it hit me, I was like, Oh my god, I don't, I don't really believe it. And then, like, like ten minutes later, I actually calmed down a bit, and then I actually thought about it, and it's, I like got real tearful. Like, it's, it's weird. Yeah, that's I what can't I really thought believe that. it. Just describe to me what it feels like to be. You all obviously want to carry on doing performing and and something connected to the stage, but you still have to do your schoolwork and stuff, don't you? I mean, how yeah. does that, how does that all feel, given that you're so infused and excited about about the show? Well, it's quite hard because we don't get that much time. We get three hours in the morning for school. And then it, we're here. It's the, the day. We're here yeah, till we're 10 o'clock at night. And by the time we get home, it's about 11 and we've got to go straight to bed. So we don't So basically we get up at about half eight, half eight. Then eight. We, then we work at yeah, eight o'clock. Then, then we have to get to school at nine o'clock. Then we work for three hours till 12. 12 we have a break. And then at 2 o'clock we have to be here, and then we work from 2 o'clock to 10 o'clock all the way through. Wow, I'm exhausted just listening to you. You don't ever kind of think that punishing schedule is, is kind of enough now when this show finishes. That's, that's it. It's going to be weird when the show finishes, because like, mm. we've got so much to do. Yeah. It's just going to be like, I'm bored. around the house doing nothing. I'm bored. <laughs> yeah, that's all I kept saying when, at weekends when we used to go home sometimes. We said, oh, I'm bored. I don't know what to do. I'm so used to having like a busy life. Yeah, yeah. It just like calms down. And you're always travelling and my mum kept going saying, about. Yeah, my mum kept saying to me, just just rest for once. And I'm like, I can't rest.